Hey guys, Hero Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all how I'm going to be changing some items in the client's home to suit the design that I will be working on in the home. I would love to change this picture frame here and I'm going to be covering it up with some items like this particular one that I got from Lowe's. And I will be using some other items from Amazon and the list of all the items that I'll be using for this DIY project is going to be down in the description box below. I'll be adding wood to make the frame wider before adding up all of the onlays. I also got this other smaller onlays from Lowe's and these are going to be at the corners. I want the corners to be bold so I'm going to be adding something much bigger than that and I got these off of Amazon and they will be attached together with the ones that I got from Lowe's. The way I have this part here covered, I will be covering this side too as well. And I have a different kind of onlay and this is going to be by the sides. I got two of these and I'll be putting one on each side. I cut little pieces from wooden onlays to fill up some of the spaces on the board. Now when I was done with that, I took it out and I spray painted the whole thing silver. I'll be using gems to cover up any imperfections that I have here on the board and it's also going to be adding to the glam that's going to be on the frame. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like up on the wall at the end of the video so stay tuned. For the second design, I'm going to be changing this mirror here and this was gotten from at home and it looks kind of worn out and I don't like the color too as well. So I covered the mirror part and took it out and spray painted the frames silver. When it was dry, I brought it back in, cleaned the mirror because I'm going to be attaching mirror stickers and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. These are self-adhesive and they're super easy to apply. I did use something like this but the gold color in a friend's place when I was doing a makeover and I used it on the table and on the baseboards and they turned out fabulous. Now I'm going to be removing the protective film and as you can see, the design is barely visible. So I decided to just take mirror tiles, cut them into singular strips and attach them to give it another design that's going to be on the mirror. I'll be using a strong adhesive and hot glue to attach the pieces to the mirror. I'll be sharing with you all how this looks like up on the wall at the end of this video. Now for the third design, I'm going to be showing you how I turn table mats and these are the table mats in gold to make a beautiful large wall decor. I 
I'll be using six for this project and all I'm gonna do is spread them out like this. And these are five and then I put the final last piece in the middle. Now I'm gonna be making sure that they look okay and then using hot glue to attach the pieces together to make it easy to move them around. I'm gonna have this on top of a board. Now this is too small, so I'm gonna get something much wider. And unfortunately what I had was white, but that's not gonna be a problem because when I extend this to the length that I want, I'm gonna be covering it up with black marble contact paper. Now that I have this, I'm going to be gluing on the table mats on top of the board. It'll be nice to have lights with this design, so what I did was to flip the whole thing over and made holes on each and every one of the table mats at the middle. These are remote control push lights and I will be having all the lights attached to the board with hot glue. Here's what it looks like when it's mounted on the wall without the lights. And here's what it looks like with the lights on. This is what the other design with a mirror looks like. Here's what the family photo with the frames that I worked on looks like now. The frame is much larger and it has beautiful onlays and a lot of embellishments and I really love the way it turned out. Stay tuned guys and see how all the wall decor that I worked on are gonna be used in the client's home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.